Hey, welcome back to the book of Philippians. We're at chapter 4, verses 4 and 5 now. Let's read from the book and see what we have. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. So rejoicing is a pretty big piece here in the book of Philippians, isn't it? We see it over and over again. We should rejoice, rejoice. You've probably heard this in a Christian song. Rejoice in the Lord always, always. And so rejoice in the Lord. It's just the, the peace there. And it's a piece we often aren't doing. We aren't doing it. Instead, we're uh, moaning and complaining and constantly sort of falling back into worries. And so what we need to do is rejoice instead of worry. How about that? Uh, and it's true for me, too. We all need to come in the right place. So let us do that. Uh, let your gentleness be known to all men. Here's another spot here. Friends, sometimes as Christians, we're not showing our gentleness to all men. People, if they when they come to your church and then they, if they talk about it, when they get home, they say, hey, what was it like up there? It's the first thing they say was, oh, everybody in that church was so kind. They were so gentle. Or do they say, there was some friction in that room. I wonder what's going on there. There was not gentleness. We want to make sure there's a spirit of gentleness. Why do we want to rejoice all the time? Why do we want to have our gentleness be known to all? Why? It's in verse 5. The Lord is at hand. Jesus is coming. He's coming soon. It's good news. He's, he's almost here. It's good news. There are intense days ahead. But Jesus is coming. He'll take us through them. So let us have our gentleness be known to all. Let us, instead of worrying, let us rejoice, and God will bless us. Let's pray. <laughs> Father in heaven, some of your commands are so simple, we should get them. We should just get them right away. But they're so simple that we want to find ways around them. And so, in, and so instead of that, Lord, help us to be right. Help us to learn to rejoice in the Lord always. And I'm still learning it. Lord, perhaps many of us are listening are still learning it. Help us, Lord, to let our gentleness be known to people all the time. And help us not to forget that Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. We can rejoice in that and treat others with care and respect, knowing that the Lord is at the door. So, Lord, bless us as we finish and Jesus comes. We thank you for hearing our prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, God, go out there and be with you to, and let your gentleness be known to all men and maybe some rejoicing today. See ya.